Quran mentions explicitly in Surah Maida, chapter number five, verse number 32. If anyone kills any other human being, unless it be for murder or for spreading corruption in the land, it is as though he has killed the whole of humanity. The Quran says, if any human being kills any other innocent human being, whether Muslim or non-Muslim, it is as though he has killed the whole of humanity. And the verse continues, if anyone saves any human being, whether Muslim or non-Muslim, it is as though he has saved the whole of humanity. I, being a student of comparative religion, I have not come across any verse in any scripture besides the Quran which is so explicit against terrorism, against killing innocent human beings. It says that if any human being kills any other human being who is innocent, whether Muslim or non-Muslim, it is as though you have killed the whole of humanity. And I have not come across any verse in any other scripture, any other religious scripture besides the Quran, which promotes the prevention of terrorism. And it says, if any human being saves any human life, whether Muslim or non-Muslim, it is as though you have saved the whole of humankind. Islam condemns all forms of terrorism. Islam condemns the killing of any innocent human being, irrespective of caste, color, creed, irrespective of which nationality he belongs to, irrespective of which religion he belongs to. Islam and I too condemn all forms of terrorism. I also condemn the 9-11, which took place on 11th of September 2001, the Twin Tower bombing in New York, where few thousand innocent people were killed. I condemn the 7-7, 7th of July 2005, London bombing, where more than 50 innocent people were killed. I also condemn the serial train bomb blast that took place in Bombay on the 11th of July 2006, where more than 180 innocent people were killed. I also condemn the Gujarat massacre, the riots which were plea planned, which took place in Gujarat in India, where innocent few thousand Muslims were killed. I condemn all sorts of terrorism, where innocent human beings are killed, irrespective whether Muslim or non-Muslim. And whatever acts of terrorism which takes the life of innocent human being is to be condemned, including suicide bombing. Now we have, recently in the past few decades, that a person goes, he puts up a bomb, goes in a marketplace, goes in a tube station on the road, and he blows himself up, and with him takes several other human lives. This act is not tolerable in any religion, especially Islam. Suicide bombing where innocent human beings are killed is totally prohibited in Islam. Unfortunately, though Islam is a religion which condemns all sorts of terrorism, all acts of terrorism that took place in the past, which is even taking place in this 21st century, even though it condemns, unfortunately, today, the media portrays Islam as a religion which promotes terrorism. 